Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. My name is Liu Dianlen, and my organization is Dunan University. Today, the title of my presentation is a novel and efficient distance detection based on monocular images for grasp and handover. My presentation will include these five parts. Part one is the introduction. We all know grasping is one of the most basic tasks of the robot. For example, in that drill, robots can accomplish the pick and place task which is laborious for human laborers. Thematic robots can assist the disabled or old people in their daily grasping tasks. In addition, human robot handover can significantly facilitate people's production and life. For example, industrial robots assistants can fetch or pass toys to human workers to increase efficiency in factories. Service robots can fetch or pass objects what people need, like a drink or pen. To achieve grasping or robots, human robot handover, robots must locate the three-dimensional position of the object quickly and accurately. And the distance from the object to the camera plane, namely depth information of the object, is the key information for robots to locate the object. RGB camera and RGB camera are two mainstream devices of robot vision. RGB cameras are cheap and plentiful for large-scale deployment, but they lose the depth information about the object, making it difficult to locate the object. Existing RGB-based object distance detection algorithms are fast but restricted challenging to adapt to complex and changeable robot applications. RGBD cameras can directly obtain the depth information of the object, which is convenient for object location. But it is much more expensive, expensive than the RGB camera, and the hardware performance and the technical level of RGB cameras. RGBD cameras will seriously restrict its practical application effect. The current robotics field is too dependent on depth camera, and the traditional method based on RGB cameras is almost forgotten. But we believe that the traditional method should not be replaced by the depth camera, but as another way for researchers to achieve robot tasks. So, we designed a novel two-state unknown object distance detection algorithm based on monocular RGB images. Part 2 is the related works. There are three ways to estimate the distance from the object to the camera plane. For RGBD-based method, the object distance is calculated from point cloud information, but the key is uh, clustering algorithm. Uh, for analytics-based method, the distance of object is obtained by solving special parameters and uh, geometry. For model-based method, the deep neural network is used to estimate the object distance directly from images. Part 3 is a method. Our, 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 algorithm, our algorithm is inspired by human vision. First, for objects of the same size, the size of the object uh, per perceived by human eyes is inversely proportional to the distance. Second, for multiple objects of a different size, people can quickly judge the distance between the different objects and themselves which benefits from the richer prior knowledge acquired by birth, enabling people to know the size difference between objects and otherwise judge the distance. Third, which prior knowledge can help people quickly uh, estimate the size of the unknown object by comparing it with the known object to judge the distance of the unknown object. 
inspired by human vision. They use a no sign marker as the prior knowledge and use it as a reference to solve the distance of the object on the desk for robot grasping tasks. Next, they use the object position on the desk to figure out the object distance in the air for human robot handover. Here's the implementation process of our method. First, the robot contains the Ob the first, the robot obtains RGB images through the head camera. It then sends the images to a lightweight hand object detector to obtain pixel information of the hand and the contact object. Then it obtains the three-dimensional dimensional position of the object through the object positioning module, and uh, finally drives the robot arm to complete the task. The focus is on the object positioning module. For the hand object, hand object detector, we trust Yolo 5 to meet real-time requirements and train it with 100k from level dataset. Here is the overview of the object positioning module. Distance detection A is used to decide the distance of the object on the desk. Be specific, we have to track the side view of the works, workspace as a geometric imaging model. For light segment MO, the optical imaging equation can be established. For marker, the optical imaging equation can also be established. Then we can also set up a geometric, geometric equation and uh, the actual length of the light segment in the image can be uh, correlated with the uh, pixel length. By correlating these uh, equations, we can get the equation for the distance of the objects on the desk. After obtaining the distance of the object on the desk, using distance detection B, the information of the object on the desk can be used to solve the distance of the object in the air. To be specific, we respectively establish the object's op optical images equations in two states. We also establish the relation between the actual length of the line segment and the pixel length, length in the image. By collating these uh, equations, we can get an equation for the distance of the object in the air. After obtaining the distance of the object, the two-dimensional pixel coordinates of the object can be converted into actual three-dimensional coordinates by using the camera intrinsic parameters. For the sake of time, we have only outlined the method. If you are interested in the specific reasoning process of our algorithm, welcome to read our paper. Part 4 is the experiment. We verify the effective effectiveness of our algorithm on the Baxter robot platform by grasping tests and human robot handover tests. At the same time, we also calculated the time code of our method. For grasping tests, we carry out the grasping tests for five large and five small objects respectively. 200 experiments were conducted on large and small objects respectively, total of 400, each of which results in one of the following four conditions. Success. Vector successful grasp the object and put it back where it was. Drop. Vector grabs the object, but it drops out and it put it not and it not put back the place. In accuracy, Vector cannot accurately move its arm to the object location and fails to grasp. Unreachable. Vector gets the object location but they can't move the arm to it. 
The table shows the distribution distribution of grasping test results. We can see that the overall success rate of the grasping test was achieved 18.5%, which proves that our methods can effectively help the robot to achieve the grasping test. For human robot handover tests, small objects are too small to get, so we we'll only use the large objects. Three objects are placed on the workbench, and 10 workers participated in tests. Each worker carried out 30 handover tests, a total of 300 times. The results of each test can be divided into the following four conditions. Success. Faster successful catching the object and returns it to the human. No hand. The detector cannot detect the hand and end the handover in advance. Inaccuracy. Robot cannot move to the object location accurately and get it. Unreachable. Baxter is unable to move its arm to the positions of the object. The table shows the distribution of human robot handover test results. We can see the overall success rate of the human robot handover test was 18.7%, which proposes that our method can be effectively uh, applied to robots to achieve human robot handover tests. To prove that our method is uh, efficient, has a low delay, and can meet real-time requirements of robotics, we conducted uh, additional 14, 40 experiments, 20 grasping experiments, and uh, 20 handover human robot handover experiments. We counted the following five indicators or time respectively. The table shows the results of our algorithm's time code. You can see that the main factors are uh, affecting factors affecting time code are robot moving time and network delay. The reasoning and the distance calculation takes very little time and can hardly be ignored which shows that our proposed distance detection algorithm is low delay and can satisfy the, satisfy the real-time requirements of robot tasks. Part 5 is the conclusion. We propose a novel two-stage unknown object distance detection algorithm based on molecular RGB images. And the marker of null size is used as prior knowledge. Compared with the existing RGBD based and analytics analytics based methods, the proposed algorithm has more adaptive, higher efficiency with the low code, meets the requirements of real time accuracy and effectiveness in robot tasks. It is a successful use for robot grasping and human robot handover tasks. But the algorithm also has some limitations in actual use. First, the object posture, uh, posture needs to be relatively fixed. And second, the algorithm is uh, unusable for irregular objects. The root cause of these limitations is that the RGB camera loses three-dimensional information. A simple object detector can only obtain the pixel position information, which cannot determine object size and pose. So, in the future, we will use six-dimensional object pose estimation technology to obtain more rich information about objects from RGB images. 
to adjust the limitation of the needs for fixed object uh, pasture and the enabling of grasping irregular objects. Thanks very much.